In this video, we will be touching tools off in a lathe manually using the tool measure in our setup page. When setting up the machine, one of the key parts of the process is to properly set your tools so they will cut correctly in the program. First, insert a piece of stock to touch the tools too. You will need to make sure that it represents the actual part that is being set up. Pay special attention to the face of the material. This face should be squared off and in the same spot as your part zero that was used when creating the program. Once the test material is ready, make sure you are in handle jog mode so that you can manually move the tool toward the test material. Press setup and go to the tool measure menu key. You need to make sure that you are on the tool measure page also. The first process will be to measure the x-axis. Set the handle jog to the x-axis mode. Using the hand wheel, move the tool you wish to touch off down toward the material you put in the chuck or spindle. As you get closer to the material, slow the increment down so that you get the most accurate measurement possible. Once the tool is touching the material, do not move the tool any further. Now, press the Measure Memory menu key button. This puts the machine position into the measure position at the top of the screen. Next, press the Zero Point Offset Memory menu key. You will now input the diameter of the material that is in the chuck. Pressing the input key will set the info into the zero point offset column at the top of the screen. Finally, press the offset right menu key. This will calculate your offset and insert it into the highlighted length offset. The next process will be to measure the Z axis tool offset, which will be very similar to setting the X axis tool offset. Set the handle jog to the Z axis mode. Using the hand wheel, move the tool you wish to touch off down toward the face of the material you put in a chuck. Now remember this will be the Z0 for your tool or tools used in your program. As you get closer to the material, slow the increment down so that you get the most accurate measurement possible. Once the tool is touching the material, do not move the tool any further. Now, press the Measure Memory menu key button. This puts the machine position into the measure position at the top of the screen. Next, press the zero point offset memory key. You will now input any extra stock or zero for the actual face of the material that is in the chuck. Pressing the input key will set the info into the zero point offset column at the top of the screen. Finally, Press Offset Right to calculate your offset and insert it into the highlighted length offset. Make sure the highlighted Z offset is in the same row as the X-axis offset you set previously. I hope this was very informative and I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks and have a great day!